Hello, I'm Wilson, and these are my teammates. I'm Alberto, and I'm Carlos. And our project name is Dolores. It stands for Digital Open Source Lamp, operated by our ARPI system. Uh, Dolores is pretty much a PIC32 microcontroller with uh, two input interfaces, which is a Bluetooth interface, is right here, and a potentiometer that is right here. And it also features uh, two output interfaces. One is a LED matrix. We'll see you. We'll see the matrix later, and also a TFT display. Now I'll turn over to Alberto, and he will talk about the input interfaces. So we communicate uh, with the PIC32 using uh, Raspberry Pi GUI that we designed for 5725. So as soon as we uh, hit the sun here, it's gonna send over a signal via Bluetooth to this HM10 uh, Bluetooth low energy module. And then that's gonna command the PIC to display different animations. Uh, this animation is called Fulbright. It's just displaying the color that uh, we select based on the input from this soft potentiometer. So if we touch in different places of the potentiometer, it's gonna, it's gonna map out to different colors. Uh, there are also other, other animations in, uh, in this GUI. For example, weather forecast. As you can see now, it's 20 degrees outside and it's, uh, it's clear. So this animation corresponds to clear and then the, the weather is displayed uh, on the TFT. So, that, so that's a that's an icon for the for the clear sky and the sun. Skies, mm -hmm. yeah. It is. Yeah. Okay. So and then each uh, weather, uh, you know, uh, condition. Condition. Yeah. Cool. Sorry about that. Uh, it would result in a different animation uh, based on the weather forecast. Okay. So you. So then we also have uh, multiple animations. Not only the weather one. We have uh, the previously shown Fulbright, which is controlled by the potentiometer, uh, as we showed before. And then we have a, a waterfall, which is happens to be our favorite one, because you can change various, through various colors inside the same animation. Wow. Uh, we have a uh, fading fade out, which also you can, it's result, it, feedback from the potentiometer affects the color that is being, uh, let, it, let, it, let it do the fade. The fade in and fade out. Colors. Yeah, so whatever input color you, you choose in the potentiometer, the animation will result in a fade in, fade out from that color. Uh -huh. And then this is the demo, demo uh, mode, so you can see all our uh, weather forecasts. So that's thunderstorm. You can see, the, the, see the flashing, yeah. yeah. Uh, after that, uh, it should show rain. So it's a little, little slower, gentler, right. and no flashing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And these are about 10 seconds each. 10 seconds each. And then uh, snow. Which we see a lot of here. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> see these every other <laughs> After that should come... Uh, Clouds. Clouds. So it's a cloud, you know, passing through. And it's sunny again, but you guys already saw that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay. Uh, and then uh, this is just the last one to, to you know, show our demo mode is done so and over with. <laughs> <laughs> the, the terrifying clown face. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so the next mode would uh, correspond to a computer vision mode. Uh, this mode is like kind of like recognizing uh, shapes uh, of different types and different colors. And then displaying them also on the uh, on the array of LEDs. And, th and this is a, a prototype with the idea that you would recognize people coming up to this device and cus and, and personalize it. Yep. So this is a test for a personalization. Correct. Uh huh. Sure. Okay. So what you let's see. So at this point, stop the okay. This runs more heavily on the on the Pi. We use an OpenCV library uh, to detect the shapes and colors that we have here. For example, we got a blue square here. It takes a while, and once it turns green, it already detects it. So now we can send it. And it displays the shape and the color 
in the LEDs. Same for, for the rest of the for the rest of the shades uh, here. All right. There's the green triangle detected. So send it over. And, and there it is. Yeah. So uh, basically, we have uh, like around we have 200 LEDs, 550 on each side, uh, with a 10 by by five matrix. Uh, and then we're addressing each LED individually, so we're able to, you know, make those animations very smoothly and uh, go through different like uh, colors and ways of uh, editing those uh, those screens that you saw. Very cool. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.